Hello guys and welcome to our very first calculator hack class. For today we'll be looking at the addition and subtraction of vectors using the Casio FX991 ES Plus calculator. But before then we'll pick some examples and solve before using the calculator to confirm our answers. Okay so let's take some quick example. In this example we'll be looking at the addition and subtraction of vectors using the FX991 ES plus calculator. So for our, first addition, for our first example, we're taking A, vector A, to be equal to I plus 2J minus 3K. And we're taking B, vector B, to be equal to 2I minus 3J plus 4K. Now we've already dealt with additional subtraction of vectors in the previous classes. But we're just using this to refresh our memory and also to confirm the answers from the calculator. Now, first of all, I have um, question one, which says A plus B. Now, A plus B is equal to, um, for this, of course, we said when it comes to adding vectors, we only add their coefficients. The coefficient of I here is 1, so it becomes 1 plus 2, which gives us 3I. For J, the coefficient here is 2, so I'm having plus 2 plus minus 3. Of course, that becomes plus 2 minus 3, which equals to minus 1. Minus 1 times j gives you minus j. Now, let's come to the k. I'm having minus 3 plus plus 4k. Okay, so I'm having minus 3 plus 4, and that gives me plus, uh, that gives me plus 1. That's plus 1 times k, which is plus k. So, a plus b gives you 3i minus j plus k. So, I have this. Let's look at the subtraction of vector a and b so vector a minus vector b becomes this minus this coefficient here is one so one minus two gives you minus one times i which is minus one i or perhaps minus i for the j i have plus two minus minus three j so minus minus three gives you plus three so i'm having plus two plus three that gives you plus five and then j so i have plus five j finally for the k i have minus three minus plus 4. Minus plus gives you minus. So it becomes minus 3 minus 4, which gives you minus 7. Attach your K. So I have this. For 3A plus 2B, the, the concept is very simple. It means multiply A by 3 and then B by 2 and then add them. So this is um, 1 here. Multiply the 1 here by 3. That gives you 3I here in total. The B part here, you say times 2B. If I multiply 2 by 2, it becomes 4. So 3 times 1 gives me 3 plus 4. That gives it in total 7. So I have 7i. Um, multiply this by 3. 3 times 2 gives you 6. So for a is 6j. Multiply b by plus 2. Plus 2 times minus 3 gives you minus 6. So I'm having plus 6j minus 6j. That gives you 0. So 0 means it's off. And then for the, the k part, I have multiply this by 3. Becomes minus 3 times 3. That gives you minus 9. And I'm having plus 2 times um, 4. That's plus 4. That gives you plus 8. So I'm having minus 9 plus 8. That gives you what there? Minus 1. K. That becomes 7i minus K. All right. So we'll see how to solve this one here um, using the FX991 ES plus calculator. And don't forget too, if you miss our lectures on vectors, just simply go to the description of this video and I'll post a link to how we do this um, in our previous class. All right, so let's head over to our FX991 ES plus calculator and get this done. Okay, guys, so um, let's see how we can actually solve those questions using this Casio FX991 ES plus calculator. Um, so when it comes to solving this using the calculator, your first task is always to put the calculator in vector mode all right so how do you put the calculator in vector mode it's simple so i'll be controlling i'll be showing you what to press using my cursor here as you can see my cursor is currently at casio you can see casio at the top left so i'll be using this to direct you on where to go and all of that so just please watch the cursor correctly all right so first of all go to mode uh, press mode to show you number one comp number two complex number three statistics number four base n and as you have here so the first thing is i want to press eight which is vector so i'll go to number eight here which is here press eight you now see vector 
It will tell you vector A, vector B, or vector C. 1 is vector A, 2 is vector B, 3 is vector C. So I'll press 1 there to show vector A. So 1, vector A. Now I'll show you M, either 3 or 2. Now M here represents the dimension. If it's a vector that has I, G, and K components, that's three dimension. You press 1 for 3. If it has only I and J, that's just two components. But we'll leave that one for now. Let's focus on 1, which is which has three dimensions because A has I, G, and K components. So I'll press 1 there. You can see A it shows you these three things there. They are all zeros. So what does this mean? This one here, or at this point, you have to simply impute the dimension or the coefficient of each of the dimensions. For example, A is I plus 2J minus 3K from what I have here. So that would mean the, for, for A, the, the coefficient of I, the coefficient of I is 1. So I'll come here and press 1. That's coefficient of I equal to, for J, my coefficient is plus 2. So I'll just press 2 or plus 2, the same thing. Then press equal to, for K, the coefficient is minus 3. So I'll now press minus 3 equal to. So observe I now have 1 here as I. That becomes I. Then I have 2 here or plus 2. That becomes plus 2J. And then I have minus 3 here. That's minus 3K. So this is how you impute um, the vector A into the calculator. This is always your first tax when it comes to solving problems on vectors using the calculator. So first of all, put the calculator in vector mode and then define A, which we are done with this. But let's say while you're imputing A, let's say you made an error, just like here. Here it's supposed to be plus 2. But let's say you mistakenly wrote minus 2 instead like this. Aha. So let's say you wrote instead of 1 plus 2 and minus 3, you wrote or you typed in or you, you punched 1 minus 2 and minus 3. So I want to correct this minus 2. What do I do? I'll use this, this cursor here, this directional cursor. So it's at right now. So I see right now and then left. I'll go to the one I want to correct. For instance, I want to correct 2 here. It's supposed to be plus 2, not minus 2. So what do I do? I'll come here. It's now at 2 as minus 2. I want to change it to plus 2 or just 2. So just come to 2. Press 2 to be like this. Observe that it's still showing minus 2 here. But when you press equal to, it changes it. All right. So if in case you made an error somewhere, this is how you correct it. Okay. Just move it and then do your correction. All right. So if I'm done with this, if you press equal to, you observe that it is not changing. Nothing is moving. So what do you do here now? Come to this AC and press AC. You can see AC here. Here. Yep. Press AC. And it has been wiped out. Now it's being wiped out. Does not mean that you've uh, that A has disappeared. No. A or vector A has now been stored inside the calculator. So how do you find, what do you do next? Uh, let me show you that vector A has been stored in the calculator. And um, before then, look at number five. Look at number five here. At number five, look up, you see vector there. Yeah, there's vector there. So press shift and then press five. You see dimension, all of this. Look at number three. Number three says vector A. If I come to number three, I press three. I can see vector A. Press equal to, you can see, see that value now. One, two, and minus three. That becomes one times I. That's I plus 2j and minus 3k, which is correct. All right, so that means A has been stored. Our next task will be to define B. All right, let's define B. So I'll come here, I'll press shift. I'll come to vector. If you want to impute B into the calculator, what do you do? You go to number one, dimension. So number one, dimension. It's not asking you dimension for which vector. Is it vector A or vector B or vector C? So I'll press number two, dimension of vector B. It's not asking you um, is it a three-dimensional vector? That's I, J, K, or just two? I uh, will go to three straight up. So my one, I'll press one. One, which one is equal to three. So it's now show you this thing again. My vector B was two I minus three J plus four K. The coefficient of the coefficient of I there was two. So I press two equal to. It has now moved to the next one. My coefficient of J is minus three. So I press minus three equal to. My coefficient of k is plus 4. So I'll just press either 4 or plus 4, whichever way. So 4 equals 2. So observe this is still there. So with this now, I have successfully stored vector a and vector b into the calculator. All right. So what next? I'll come here, ac. Press ac here. All right. So vector a and vector b has now been stored into the calculator. Let's now add them. How do you add them? I'll come to shift. So you can see my cursor here. So go to shift, press shift, and come to 5. Press 5. You can see that vector a is 3. So press 3. So 3, you see vector A. Since I want to add them, I'll just come here and press plus. Okay. 
Next up, repeat the same process. Press Shift and then press 5. You can see vector B as number 4. So press 4. So your, your screen now displays vector A plus vector B. All right. So press equal to, if I press equal to here, you can see 3 minus 1 and plus 1. 3 means that for your answer, the coefficient of i is 3. So that becomes 3i, which is correct. Minus j here means that for your answer, the coefficient of j is minus 1, which is correct there. And then the next one here for 1 means that the coefficient of k is plus 1, which is correct. So this will be 3i, which is here, 3i minus j plus 1k or plus k. So that is very much correct. And that was our answer. All right. Um, let's go to the a minus b parts. So do the same thing here. Shift, go to shift first. So shift and 5. You have vector a as 3. So press 3, vector a. Then go to minus. You have minus, as you can see here. Then do the same thing again. Shift and then 5, vector Number four says vector B. So I'll come here and press four. You can now see vector A minus vector B. If I press equal to, so I'm having equal to here. What do I have here? I'm having minus one plus five minus seven. So you can see. So this means that the coefficient of I for my answer of A minus B is minus one. That becomes minus one times I, which is minus I. It means this five means that the coefficient of J is plus 5. So it becomes plus 5j. And then this minus 7 means that the coefficient of k is minus 7. So it becomes minus 7k. Hence, my answer is minus i plus 5j minus 7k. All right. So this is how we do the subtraction. All right. For our last example, our last example was 3a plus 2b. So it's very simple. First of all, go to 3, press 3. So 3, then go shift and 5 vector. Look at number 3, you see vector A. So 3, I have 3 vector A plus, I have plus, next up is 2. So 2, I press shift, shift, then go to vector, that's 5. So 5, you now see 4 there, it says vector B. So press 4 vector B. So now I'm not having 3 vector A plus 2 vector B. So this is what you have. All right. So press equal to. You can see 7 there. So that's 7i. And then 0 means that there's no j. So that's 0j or just nothing. And then minus 1k. All right. So my answer becomes 7i, no j, and then minus 1 times k, which is minus k. So this tells me that my answer is 7i minus k, which is our correct answer. So this is how we solve um, this question um, using the calculator. All right. It is just simple. Okay, let's look at the second example. Okay, so let's look at a second example on addition and subtraction of vectors using the Casio calculator. All right, so for this example, we are given um, A to be equal to 2i plus 5j and B as equal to minus 6j plus 2k. So if I'm to add this, what do I do? So A plus B becomes, if you observe for this, um, you have i for A, but there's no i for B. So we assume the i um, component of b to be 0. So it becomes 2 plus 0, which is 2i. For the j, I have plus 5 minus 6j. Plus 5 minus 6 gives you minus 1, becomes minus j. For k, there is no k component of a or vector a, but there's 1 for b. So it becomes a is assumed to be 0. So it becomes 0 plus 2, which is equal to plus 2k. So that's how we get a plus b. For a minus b, I'm having a minus b. The, the i component of a is 2 or 2i. For b, there's no i component. So it becomes 2 minus 0. So that gives you 2i. For the j component, for a, I have 5j. For the b component, I have minus 6. So it becomes 5j minus, don't forget it's a minus b. So it becomes plus 5j minus minus 6j. Minus minus gives you plus 6. So it becomes plus plus 5 plus 6. That becomes plus 11j. And finally for k, it becomes 0. That's for a. 0 minus plus 2k. So minus plus gives you minus. That becomes 0 minus 2k. That gives you minus 2k. So this is how we get this. Let's try to get this using our Casio calculator. 
All right, so um, back to this. So uh, for this example, observe that, of course, my first task as usual is to put the calculator in vector mode, okay? So I'll come here and press mode, go to number eight, which is vector, so eight vector. At this point, now you should know how to play with this. So if you want to impute vector B first, no problem. If you want to start with A first, no problem. But let's go with the normal. So I'll go with number one, vector eight. So I'll press number one there. Vector A, is it one? Is it um, a three-dimensional, a two-dimensional? Now, this is actually two-dimensional because it's just I and J. But I will advise you use three. It will be easier for you that way. I'll just press one, three instead. Now for I, remember this first one here, this first side here is for your I or the coefficient of I, which in this case is minus two, is plus two, please. So it becomes two equal to, for J, the coefficient is what plus five or five. So I have five equal to for K, observe there is no K. So it becomes what there, zero, I'll leave it as zero. So equal to, we keep tapping equal to, nothing changes, like it's not moving again. As usual, I'll just go to AC, so this is off. Observe that the vector is still showing on the screen. That means it's still on vector mode. Finally, press shift and press number five. So we have to um, go to dimension number one. Go to dimension number one. So number one, because we want to define vector B. Okay. So number two, define vector B. Number two, vector B. Is it of um, one, three dimension, I, J, K, on two, of just two dimension? I've said before, it will be easier for you if you use three dimension. So I'll press number one, the three dimensions. So I'm having zero, zero, zero. Let's now impute values. B, vector B is minus six J plus two K. So it has no I component. So I, I'll just press equal to is zero. Okay, I'll first of all press zero first and then press equal to. So observe is now at zero. So I'm now, I'm now at B. Um, the J component is minus six. The coefficient of J is minus six. So it becomes minus six equal to. It has now gone to K. My k component is plus two. I press two equal to. So I'm having zero minus six plus two k. So I have this. All right. So having done this now, what next? I've defined both a and b. Let's get a plus b. So it's as easy as shift um number five vector. I'll now come to number three. Number three here says vector a. So I'll press number three. That's vector a. I want to add them. So it becomes plus. So you press plus and then do the same thing again. Shift and then five. 5, vector B is number 4 here, so I'll press 4, vector B. So vector A plus vector B equal to, answer is 2i minus j plus 2k, which is what we got, okay? So 2 for i minus 1 times j, that's minus j, and then plus 2 times k, that's plus 2k. So that's 2i minus j plus 2k, and that's correct. All right, let's try the B, let's try the subtraction. Um, so shift um five vector now press number three vector a so three here vector a i'll use minus this time press minus press shift five again shift five number four is vector b so i'll press four becomes vector a minus vector b that's equal to so i'm having two eleven and minus two so this is two this is eleven this is minus two so it's telling you that this is two i which is correct plus um plus 11j which is correct and then minus 2k which of course is correct so this is how we do this using a calculator all right so this is how you do addition and subtraction of vectors using your calculator um by the way if i choose to this um observe the vector is still there even if you switch this off um the vector will still be there so how do you remove the how do you take off the calculator from how do you take off the calculator from vector mode what do you do you first of all press number one mode number one says comp so just press number one there so mode one observe the vector is now out of it so it's now back to its original state so i've I'm done with my vector calculation and i've now taken i've now taken the calculator off vector mode all right so this is how we solve vectors addition and subtraction using the casio fx 991 es plus calculator all right